Right, just pulled away from the dock here. Heading out, just getting out of the no wake zone here on the lake. And we're in the 2017 Edge offshore big boat, 24 footer, uh, high sides. We've got a 475 hours here on the tack. Good horn, bilge pump, fires off, nav lights, can't actually see them. Courtesy lights, they're up underneath here. We have lights here and lights there. Those are good. I don't know what we have over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unhook the autopilot here so we have that. Fire off the autopilot. There we go. And we've got a Garmin, uh, I believe that's a 12 inch screen, XSV. So this is not touch screen. This is actually all on the controls over here. Okay, so we've got our fish finder and then we've got our maps here. The boat does not have radar up top. Um, curtains, you see, you cannot see out of them. You'll see that from the exterior. You may have already seen it in the other part of the video. So there we go. And we have a broken antenna there too on our VHF radio. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit of corrosion here on our zippers, but that's pretty much gonna be a given with these tops um, without it, without, with any outside use. So let's go ahead and get this water test going. I'm gonna start adding some throttle. Wake her up, we got a 250 Yamaha on here. We're currently trimmed all the way down. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and gauge the autopilot here. 148 degree. We've got that, that done, so let's go ahead and let's go to the right a few times. Let this turn us. Make sure we're good. The standby. Turn it off here. We got to go. All right, here we are. We've got right now, we're currently at 1900 RPMs. We got lots of wind chop out here, so it's going to be a great test for us today. Um, we know this edge with a 65 degree entry is going to ride fantastic in this chop. Trimming here all the way down. Okay, we're all the way down on our trim there. You can see we're up on plane now, but we're barely going. We've got right here 17.1 uh, miles per hour into the wind there. We do have trim tabs. There we go, I'm gonna tab us up a little bit, offset my weight, now we're level. Trim tab kicked us up flat. Okay, adding more throttle. There we go. 34, doing 20 miles an hour there, 20 miles an hour. 3,400 RPMs. Okay, add a little bit more throttle. You can hear everything kind of smoothing out. The boat holds steady. I'm not touching anything. She's holding her course beautifully. <coughs> here we go. I'm gonna pick up and run back here. There's your drone edge. Holding good into these waves. Giving her more throttle. We'll trim it up. Okay, now she's wide and open. We're on number three. We have 26 miles an hour, 4,200 RPMs. Wind is grabbing us here. Boat rides fantastic, man. I'm telling you, you don't realize it. I know how much these chops on this lake or this chop right now would be like, good, 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 good. I honestly feel nothing. And I'm not on a, these, this doesn't have suspension seats. I mean, it has a little bit like, but it doesn't even hardly count for suspension. Okay. 
Bring up those RPMs now. There we are, 4,800. Trimming the boat up some more. Really getting a bite. 5,100 RPMs, 35 miles an hour. 5,600 RPMs. We are cooking. Woo, baby. That's running into the wind, too. Okay, there's full throttle. We got 5,500 RPMs. Bringing the hole up more. We got 45 miles an hour. Okay, pulling her back. Oh, that was quick. I'm gonna see what we can get top speed. I'm gonna turn around. I gotta put you down for a sec. All right, today we're gonna walk around this this 2017 Edge Marine 24 offshore. And we're going to walk around. We're going to show you all the features and benefits and, and details of this particular boat. Okay, first of all, two inch ball. We've got the UHF uh, Dexter integrated. So it's the same height as the tongue, not a step. So you don't have to have a huge tongue. So it's pretty level as most trailers. Uh, that's your, your surge brakes built in right here. We've got a Fulton two wheel jack on here. We've got a new Fulton two-speed winch. Two-speed meaning if you pull this out, you can go into low gear. You push it in and it goes a lot faster. Uh, so that's new on there as well. And as you can see, we are dealing with a full welded aluminum trailer. This is a huge, huge value add to you because you have no hardware on this trailer rusting all the time like you do with an easy load or any other type of trailer even if it's galvanized doesn't matter they all rust out these ones are phenomenal for their ability to just not rust out so you've got a forever trailer sitting here it always looks good and if it doesn't you can just shine it up a little bit because it's because it's aluminum okay so first things first on the front of this boat we have a nice little rock shield but it's tiny we have an anchor uh, anchor stand or a uh, a nest anchor nest with a rocker anchor on here and my favorite thing about an edge boat is look down the throat of this thing this is a 65 degree entrance on this boat that thing just chews up the weight chews up the chop swell whatever that thing is phenomenal okay we're just going to keep going though all right side condition here we've got this is road specs from tr transporting it so you've got a few of these here and there from rocks bumping up there's a little gouge right there that's in the aluminum okay here's the drains for the top side up here for the, the front underneath the boat has some has some barnacle edge on it but it's really minimal and it wipes off with your hand see here some here and i can wipe it off with my hand We've got a little, a little bit of a scrape here coming in to the dock or, or onto the trailer or something. And then we got a water line here. This was moored somewhat during the, the year, but all in all, it's, I mean, cleans up and it's an aluminum boat. They just, they do great in that situation. Okay, so there's the bottom there. You can see the bunks have this, this uh, what this is, is an upside down piece of, of Trex decking it's vinyl or plastic and so you don't have to change your bunks and it's supported by an aluminum welded bunk underneath there it's genius so smart okay tires wheels aluminum wheels on there led lights on the trailer all right condition of the boat you step back here you can see around where these buttons are because anytime on any boat you'll see on these metal boats you'll see the paint bubble and they've got bubbling across here across the back here and up here, up around all of those on the side here. And then as you can see to the side curtains, this is a clear vinyl plastic and it is bad. You really can't get this to come out. Um, I, at least I don't know how to get, it, get these to clear up. So they pretty much have to be replaced. However, replacing those isn't that hard. They just cut that and stitch a new one in its place. So that could be done by most upholstery shops. Fair, I would I would assume and I'm not trying to be too ambitious for about five hundred dollars is my assumption on those backs and the sides for that okay they do make a great a great boarding ladder um, nice and wide big grip foots 
or foot steps right there. Big step deck on the back here on the offshore bracket. It is extension of the hole. And I'm gonna show you something here. Oh, trim tabs there. We've got trim tabs to level or out when it's going. The boat ran pretty darn level when I test ran it. It ran pretty true with just myself in it. But you do have the trim tabs to really level things out. Okay, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features of this boat. It's called a delta pad. That's what we've kind of call them. This is actually the lowest point of the boat right here where the drain plug is, which was smart too, not to put it in the back. I know Duckworth struggled with that a little bit where they put it in the back. Water just sits in that lower spot when they did this. But anyways, this low spot feeds cleaner water, the prop, and it makes such a difference. I put one of these boats right next to a, right next to a North River. And these are bigger than North River, higher sides, more, more freeboard, as well as they're wider, taller. So, and they weigh more. And the North River, this ran five miles an hour faster with the identical motor on it as the North River. So I'm telling you, these hydrodynamics on this boat make a difference. And I don't know, it's voodoo magic. I don't know how Ruben came up with that design. I th honestly think, sorry Ruben, if you see this, I think you got lucky because I have not seen any boat mimic the hydrodynamics of this boat. Okay, we got a 250. Um, offshore model, Yamaha, six cylinder, 4.2 liter, most reliable motor. We've got a 9.9 high thrust, long shaft here, power tilt trim. You start it, run it from the front here. All tube rigging, nice and clean. Okay, this side of the boat, we use our ejection ports for our water pumps. Okay, and we've got again, those places, big welded cleats on here. And then this side, this has got the crab pot scraps. This is where crab pots were pulled up and hit. And then we got some dock rash on here. This stuff might not even be here in the pictures because it comes off actually very easy. We just need to get after it with a little bit of acetone to get that, that plastic from the fenders off. Okay, so there's the rest. Not really any big dents or anything, so that's nice. You really can't see any of those. It's just kind of surface stuff. And if you're really bothered and you wanted to look really pretty, then uh, vinyl wrap would be in order. Probably just put that over the orange. Okay, let's hop up on the top side here. Awesome thing. This is almost a must on all of the on all of the edges. And what it is is that latch I can't get. There it goes. Have to pull it back against that gasket. Walk through transom. This is huge. You know, most people don't realize you get in and out of this boat more while it's on the trailer than you will any other time. So being able to walk up that ladder, walk through that transom. This is a high, look at this. These are like 36 inch high, high side gunnels on this. Okay, we got a fish box in here, pretty traditional there. It's got a ski pole. I think it doesn't have it though. It might be in the boat somewhere. Okay, here's our rigging for the rear. So our dual battery setup. And this is what's really cool is you do have access to your drain plug right here in the bottom. Look at that. Any water, pour it right out, and you have access right to there. So you can always see your bilge at the lowest point. That's very valuable. There are quite a few boats in the marketplace right now in the marketplace that do not have visible bilges, meaning you cannot get and see the bottom of your bilge, which is ridiculous because what if you're taking on water? You would never know. Okay, and then we also too have a really big fish box in the bottom of this. Rat, all this is covered. UHMW, that's a fish box. Okay, we've got our wash down over there. Okay, we've got some conditional stuff. You can see the, this is fading and you get a little bit of this fading on the uh, thing. It would probably shine up pretty good, but for the most part, you're pretty much, you're pretty much protected. That stuff lasts forever. Okay, going inside here, the bench seats that they do, that Edge did, I am a fan of them. They keep it separate here. Oh, this does have a sloping backdrop as well. So this goes from the back down to the back of the boat. So you can close the back here. And so they separate the two. So the back is separate from the, from the base of the seat. Makes it much easier to lift up and down. You'll have to try to fold the top, top down. I got cup holders welded in here on each side, okay? 
nice helm seats. This material that they use on here, this stuff is durable. I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of a nylon-y material. It's not like your normal standard vinyl. I mean, the trim is, this is, but this is not. It's kind of a different texture. Okay, let's get up to the helm here. Okay, most of this we looked at, we'll look at in the water test here. Keys, there's a bracket that's hanging down here. Get a close up of that. There's where both keys are here. This is a fabricated bracket. Um, there's not a lot of room on this dash. You can see it's pretty much plugged up with these switches and whatnot. However, and this is a big fish finder, this is a great fish finder, but you have room for a massive screen right here. And so what I myself would probably do is wire everything into that head unit and control stuff on here. Get my engine data, all that information right on here because I have such a big spot right here for a great big, uh, you know, even a 16 inch wouldn't even block your view at all right here. Okay, integrated tower in the top, so you can tow with this tower. So this boat is sporty, people. This boat is very sporty. You see on the aerial video, this boat felt like I'm running a sport, water sport boat. It's metal, it's tingier, but man, it rides like a water sports boat. I'm so impressed with the ride on this boat. Has sleek lines, looks sharp, um, big boat. This boat, when you get next to these edges, you realize this is a large boat that we're in. Okay, head clearance in here. In the middle where this is, I'm 6'1", barely touch. I will have to duck. So there is duckage happening when I'm coming into the tower. But I've got grab handles here and I don't feel like I'm really gonna hit anything hard. I just have to kind of lean at an angle or two to get to that and I'm 6'1 on there too. Okay, so you see also you have the rear entrance, you've got your anchor box in the front there and some storage out front. Uh, you could climb out there, do some bottom fishing or something jigging out there, out the front. Probably, I'm gonna show you this first really quick. So we've got a big area up here for storage up into the bow. You can basically climb in there. It's rather large. And thinking of climbing in anywhere, you could seriously smuggle, I mean, hide some stuff in this glove box. The largest glove box, I think, on the entire planet. Like seriously, I'm inside. That thing's no joke. You will lose stuff in the back, but there's a little line that keeps things from flowing back there but that thing is insane okay more in floor storage this one's raised up off the bottom so it should stay relatively dry okay on the floor you can see you can just see light through the sides but the windows are great okay all in all let's let's uh get this boat let's get this boat delivered to you uh, this is something that you think could work for you. I'm telling you right now that this boat is epic in its abilities and cap or its capabilities. Great motor, under five, just barely under 500 hours, but it's an epic boat for that. Condition-wise, it's not, it's not great. It's okay. I would say probably we're a six and a half out of seven or out of ten on the overall condition of the boat, but this boat new is about a hundred and forty thousand dollar hull so so you got to realize that this is an exceptional deal and we're putting it right there at seventy thousand it's not our boat it's a consignment and so um hit us with any offers but i have a feeling that this boat's going to be a highly sought after boat so get on it and i'm telling you you will never this boat is not going to let you down when it comes to running offshore and doing some fishing uh, it's going to be, you're going to be impressed with it. The ride on it, it doesn't get beat by anything except, I mean, there's, th this is the, this is the top of the top, the best of the best when it comes to offshore or running in the 25 and the 26 foot boat overall with the bracket 20, probably around 20, 26. Um, it is sporty. It, it controls good when we're full out and I trimmed that motor up. It, it, it was, it did have a little bit of a, float to it but i mean i was going 20, 46 miles an hour on and it was rough and choppy so it was just drifting so it's going to be one of the best boats it'd be one of the top of my list for the whole design for sure